Hello everyone! Today I would love to tell you about how I am now fully self-employed in Norway even though I only live here for nine months now. So I'm going to talk about um, what kind of self-employment I have here in Norway, a little bit about how the whole system works with um, taxes and a little bit more informative stuff. I will get that out of the way first for those of you who only want that information. And then afterwards, I will also tell you about my reasons for becoming self-employed and what it is exactly that I am doing. So as it is in many countries, in Norway you have many types of different kind of organizations and uh, bedrift. I don't really know the word in English anymore. <laughs> about sorts of self-employment uh, that you can do. So I choose to become um, the most simple version. So it's just in Norwegian it's called enkel persoons voortak. It means that I am just myself, my, 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 oh, my company, that's the word. <laughs> my company is just me. It is it's not a construction, it's just me. What this means that that I am uh, completely responsible for all my actions and not the company. So should I do something wrong, or should I own something, a great deal of money or whatever, that means that they would come to me. Whereas a company can go bankrupt, I cannot. If you kind of understand what I'm going to. But it is much easier in terms of how it is set up and how the taxes work and what all the other administrative stuff that comes with it. Now also, like I said before, I only live in Norway for nine months now, of which uh, I started my self-employment journey uh, by the end of October 2020, so that's about five months ago, because I don't know shit. <laughs> it was very, very um, smart of me to take an accountant. So. They're very, very sweet people and they will help me with uh, making sure I do everything as it is supposed to go here in Norway, to, to navigate in this new thing in this new country. The, the only thing I'm a bit scared for, maybe, is that I am afraid that my accountant's bill this year will be a lot more than the profit I will actually make. But then still, I think it's smart because I still don't know how everything works and I don't want to mess things up. Now, I also thought it would be nice to just very briefly talk about how, what it means for me in terms of social security and the national welfare system here in Norway. I am very lucky that even when I was living in Belgium, I always was part of some sort of national security system, a national welfare system, meaning that if I should get sick, I am covered. Um, if I'm unemployed, I am covered. If I'm rich old age and I have worked my whole life, I would get pension money. So I am very lucky that I was raised in this type of environment. But it also means that I'm quite spoiled. So I have the same standards for my life here in Norway. The Norwegian welfare system in this is in all its ways much better, much fairer than the Belgian one. It is not a system that you can take advantage of. So you can't profit from the system if you have no rights to the system. That makes it a bit difficult if you're moving to Norway because you have to earn your way into it. Now if you just go and work for an employer, it goes all very quickly, especially if, come, if you come from the, another country in the European Union, as soon as you have a job, if you have a salary, you pay taxes, and by you paying taxes means that you have rights on all these benefits, should something go wrong, or if you reach old age. What makes this very tricky for me, that I have to reach a stage at which I am taxable. The system is quite simplistic in Norway, as in my salary, as a self-employed person, my salary is equal as the profit I make, so my profit is seen as my salary. Now, to be taxable, to be able to pay taxes, you have to have a minimum basic income in a year. So, for a self-employed person, this means that you need a certain amount of profit each year to be taxable, so to be able to pay taxes. This basic income 
is about um, 50,000 krones a year, which is more or less 5,000 euros a year. Now, this does not seem much, but I can promise you, as self-employed who is just starting out and figuring out how everything works and what I will do and all the different options I have, it is much. For me, this is a lot of money. So as long as I don't reach that amount of profit in a year, that means that I don't pay taxes, but I also don't have right to sickness benefits. I won't build up pension rights. I don't have right to parental benefits. So for me, it is kind of important to reach this amount of profit in a year so that I'm sure that I am taken care of should something go wrong. It's a very big motivation to, to make it work. As for my reasons of cutting self-employed, I will talk about it briefly here because I want to make this video a bit more light-hearted but I encourage you to go to the description below and there you will find a link to a very very long and extensive blog post I wrote about exactly this stuff. I talk about a lot of things that are very close to my heart, about things I do not find are discussed enough in our current work, work society. If you want to really know why I'm doing all this while being so new in this country, then please go and read my blog post. I would love if you would do that. But the biggest reason for becoming self-employed is I didn't move to Norway to live the exact same life as I did in Belgium, but just with some mountains in the background, right? Moving to Norway is a part of finding out what I want in this life and figuring out what to do with this new country. So I am not a very strong individual while well, I lived in Belgium. I just worked for a regular employer. I worked 40 hours in a week. I had 20-25 vacation days in a year. For me this schedule that was put on, this daily schedule, this yearly schedule that was exactly the same every day it just, it just drains me, it exhausts me very, very quickly. Eight hours a day, 40 hours a week is much for me. The fact that I had to follow the schedule was very stressful for me. I, I just couldn't keep up. I couldn't keep up with this expectancy from our society to have this kind of work-life balance. It was just way too much for me. I am a very sensitive person. I need a lot of relaxation time, I need a lot of recharging time. That is one of my biggest reasons. So now I am able to follow my own schedule. That means if, if there is a day I don't feel like doing anything at all, I am allowed to take a free day. If there is a day I have so much inspiration and motivation, I can work 12 hours a day. If I want to work only in the evenings and never in the mornings, then that's my choice. It is this, this freedom giving me such a peace of mind to have freedom to follow my own rhythm. Because not every day is the same for me, not every week of the month is the same for me. And I love that I can have some very active and social weeks in my year, but I also need some weeks that I absolutely don't see anyone. <laughs> I can determine that for myself. I don't have to justify myself to somebody else. And that takes away a lot of stress for me. Now, another big reason is that now I have this self-employment and I can use it as a sort of umbrella. So under my umbrella, I can do a lot of stuff. I don't have to choose one thing. I am a kind of chaotic person, not only in my, in my schedule, but just also in what I like, what I'm interested in, and what I want to do. So under this umbrella, I can now plug in a lot of activities and I know that as I get older, as I evolve, I will be able to change those things. I will be able to take some stuff in it, take some stuff out. I know I'll be able to change it up and feel my way in what works, what doesn't work, what I like, what I don't like. And this is another aspect of freedom 
that decreases my stress levels and gives me so much joy and peace of mind when I think of it. What is it that I am actually going to do with it? I hope to keep working as a guide, both travel guiding and, and hopefully maybe even rail guiding again. As is the current situation on our plans, I don't really know if that's in the cards for this year. I don't know if it's in the cards for next year. A big part of me wants to keep guiding, not constantly, but a few times a year it would be amazing to keep that aspect in my yearly routine as well. And then I still have the dream of being able to do something with my writing. I absolutely love writing. Through writing I can express so much more than, for example, I can, I can do to just talking to a camera. This, so again, if you want to know more about this whole self-employment story, please go to my blog post because I, I am much better in writing <laughs> and then I am to just randomly talking. I would love to explore this writing journey of mine, to do more writing, maybe to do some freelance writing here and there. I already am a columnist, so I write columns already, but I would love to explore this area more. And it is an absolute dream of mine to do something with photography as well. Now, as maybe some of you already know, I studied uh, marine sciences, so I have a master degree in marine sciences. So I still have a very, very big interest in our natural world and especially in our oceans. So this ocean aspect is a very big source of inspiration for me. But aside from that, I am also very interested in self-care. It reflects a bit my search for how can I live my best, how can I follow my own rhythm, what are good self-care practices, what are good self-love practices. And I'm not only interested in the mental aspect of it, but also in the, the physical aspect and how can we relate to our natural world through self-care. How can we take care of ourselves and take care of our nature and our oceans at the same time. So that is where the idea came from, to create a little platform, a little place where I could combine products that reflect these values, that are both good for our environment, that take their inspiration from the sea, that are small scale, very often still handmade, either all from Northern Europe or from Iceland and Norway. Because while I was living in Iceland a few years ago, I got to know all these amazing people who use the same inspiration as I seem to have to look at the ocean and see how it could be so good for us and then create this amazing self-care products. So I'm absolutely loving that I, I'm able to work with them in some way now. And while I was setting this up, I got the idea like, I want to do something unique for this website. I want to create something because I love to create. I thought it would be very nice to create like drawings and, and seaweed inspired theme for the website. And then while I was exploring this idea, it also came to me that why don't I just make these illustrations and, and make them into some sort of artwork. So that's what I did as well. I will <laughs> show you how, how I worked and what my progress of working was in this video. And that's how that site came into life. So, I got another package yesterday. I'm actually pretty excited for this. This is a package from a lady in the south of Norway. 
who makes like um, soap bars and, and scrub bars and everything. And for me she made uh, two bars, one with salt, with sea salt scrub bar and one with uh, seaweed and sea salt. I'm pretty excited for it because bars it's it's more ecological because you don't need so much packaging, it's not in plastic bottles, so I really love that fact. And also it's pretty simple, it's only a few ingredients, so it's pretty gentle for your skin as well. So I thought it would be nice to open it together with you. <laughs> Look at this! It's super nice! So this is basically a package free, uh, I mean there is a little bit of carpet on it, but it is made with just oils and sea salt and it's meant to scrub and hydrate your skin. Um, I'm not so good with words today but I love this stuff, I love this stuff. And maybe I can show you, maybe this is one with seaweed as well. Let's, let's guess. Oh yeah, I think I'll put the right one. So this is the seaweed scrub. And they both, they both smell super nice. So. I will have to take some nice pictures of these and then I can then they can go up on my webshop as well. So super super happy. Something excited arrived today. Let me show you. The first test prints arrived today. I'm not completely happy with it because I thought it wouldn't bother me, 
but uh, the fact that the white borders are not equal all around it kind of annoys me so I'm going to change that and also the, the paper is quite thin it feels kind of cheap so I want to have nice and thicker paper so I'm going to talk with another uh, printer today he's going to come by my house today so the second test print arrived and it's already looking so much better and it's the right kind of paper the right border is as it is supposed to I just have to kind of choose the color of the paper still and I might still go for uh, even a little bit thicker it is still quite thin and I think I would like it even even thicker than it is now but I am I'm really really happy thus far and it's so cool to see it come to life becoming self-employed and starting to put myself out there with all these means of creation and, and all the things that I'm doing is still very scary. There is a lot of self-doubt that comes there is especially when I go and make the mistake of comparing myself to other people who are doing a much better job. So I kind of feel like a fraud as well because I never took a photography course and never went to art school. My English is not perfect, so why am I even writing in English? I have all these doubts that I'm like, I'm like a disgrace to the real artists. I'm, I'm a disgrace to the, the real professionals in all these, in all these fields. Giving myself all these possibilities and all this freedom is also giving so much joy. It makes you really realize that you are the master of your own life. You can choose whatever you want in your life. And please don't let anybody tell you any different. Even though society might tell you that if you're not working full time and you're not strong and independent, that you're not a person deserving as much respect as other people. The only thing I'm still a bit scared for is that maybe I won't earn much money in the beginning. I kind of have a difficult relation with money. Again, if you want to know why, <laughs> read my blog post. But then again, life is never about being comfortable. It is about expanding yourself, putting yourself out there, balancing on this uncomfortable line. and exploring all the feelings and all the ways and all the possibilities. Just finding what makes you happy and what can I do with this happiness. And this, this happiness can be a gateway to so many amazing, amazing possibilities in life and so many great, great options. I will stop talking here because I already talked way too much and I wanted to keep it lighthearted. And I don't really know if I succeeded in that. If you want to check out my new little project that I started in this ocean-inspired self-care artsy world. It is called Blue Selkie. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>